Right, so what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mark with a couple names back for another video. Oh, look at that, I got me another red hat. Y'all remember uh God. son. Y'all remember this one from way back in the day? Cincinnati Red Hat son. Son. It feels stupid if I don't have a shit ton of like long ass hair. Feels stupid. But I picked me up this one from the flea market, and I don't know how long it'll last. Probably a week. It will probably last me a week, and then it will fall apart. I don't know. My dad had the exact same one. It lasted him, like, a whole fucking summer. But it was literally three bucks. So I'll be proud. I'll be happy. I'll be, I'll be content if I can get a month out of it, because it was a $3 fucking hat. And I'm rough on hats. When I wear a hat, I fucking wear it. I, I'm fucking rough. I'm fucking rough on hats. Hats don't last me very long. Alright, so, we're going to be doing this. Stoker's Straight Review. I went ahead and bought me a tub of Stoker's Straight. Because, you know. Said fuck it. Said I needed some dip before I spent all my paycheck. So, I was like, fuck it. Um... It's got me some stokers, you know. I ain't had stokers and some change. And, you know, fuck it. I could go for some stokers. So, you know, as always, you know, stokers has its little, it's a neat little refillable can. Which, I don't really like it. I wish it came with the actual fucking can. Like, if it was a straight, it had a straight can. If it was a wintergreen, it had a wintergreen can. Because this logo always falls apart in, like, a day. And these cans are like really easy to pop open. They're just, they're not attractive. We got to get into the Stoker's Review. Right. Smell. It, Stoker's Straight smells terrible. It used to smell good when I didn't know what actual straight smelled like. When I didn't know what premium straight, like Grizzly and Copenhagen and Skull. When I didn't know what they smelled like, this, this shit smelled amazing, but... It, it just, it has a cheap smell to it. It has a cheap, waxy taste to it. But the one good thing about Stoker's, the one thing that nothing can beat about Stoker's is it's cut. God damn, dude, it's like tough guy. Like, look at this. I'm just going to just just go to grab me a pinch. I just, look, 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 look. Check this shit out. Just the one good thing about Stokers. Just go in there, boom, got you a pinch. It's packed together. It's already tight. Ain't nothing coming off of it. So if you're a beginner dipper and you ain't got a pocket yet, that is the one good thing about Stokers is it's nasty, stiff cut. And I love Stokers cut. Stokers cut is amazing. I wish every long cut was like that because it's cut. It's just beautiful. If you don't know how to pack and you ain't got a pocket, Son, you and Stokers would be best friends because literally the one good thing about Stokers is it's cut. The taste, on the other hand, it's 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 a different taste. Like it's it's weird. It's a mix. I can't explain. It. It's a mix between like even it's natural. It's a mix between waxy cheap shit and premium dip. It's it's not premium it's not premium tasting, but it isn't completely cheap tasting. If that makes any sense, like uh, it tastes a little waxy, but I, but and it tastes a little watered down. Like the spit, it just feels like you're trying. Like it just it the spit of it tastes watered down. It tastes like you're trying to revive. Dried up dip that you found. You found like half a fucking can of, of fucking Copenhagen on your dip tower. And it's all dried out and nasty. And you try to put water in it and put it in the refrigerator in hopes to revive it. It's like that pretty much. But, I mean, it's not that. It's not really, it's not bad, but it's not good. It's, it's a mix. It's not good, but it's not bad. I give it a four and a half on the taste. But goddamn, dude, this pinch and packability, 10, 10, 10, 10, son. It is amazing. Its packability is beautiful. The cut is perfect. 
Stokers is beautiful in that sense. What's up with my computer? Motherfucker. Hold on. Son. I let my mom and my sister borrow my computer to do their taxes. I asked them, I said, I have one simple request from you. One simple request. Please don't fuck up my computer. My sister wanted to download some shit on it. She wanted to put some virus protection shit on it. Uh, you know, download a bunch of shit that was going to give me viruses. And also, she, I asked one thing. I said, do your taxes and that's it. So please do not fuck up my $500 computer. Please don't fuck it up. And what happens? Look at that. See how it's all fine and pretty right there? Oh. Son. I'm going to be so goddamn mad if I can't fix it. I've seen my sister's laptop. My sister don't mind it. Very much here. Hold on. I'm going to try to close my lid and see what that does. I'm so glad that I've taken computer classes and I know how to fix this shit. Oh, shit. It don't close right. Um, Yeah, they probably dropped it and knocked it out of place. Um, or one of my destructive ass nephews probably got a hold of it. <sighs> Whatever. If I can't fix it, I'm going to be so goddamn pissed. But I'm going to get out of here. Until next time, I'm going to Mark Gibbs Copenhagen. I'm going to try to fix this shit. I'm signing out.